Hello everyone, I'm Jericho. Today, I will be discussing the basic introduction about the spiritual self and the difference between the soul and spirit. Spiritual self is one of the four constituents of the self, according to William James in his book, The Principles of Psychology in 1890. The spiritual self is the most intimate, inner subjective, pa subjective part of the self. It is the most in intimate version of the self because of the satisfaction experienced when thinking of one's ability to argue and discriminate, of one's moral sensibility and conscience, and of our inconquerable will is purer than all the other sentiments of satisfaction, as said by Green 1997. The ability to use moral sensibility and conscience may be seen through the expression of religion, its belief, and practices. The, uh, in the same manner, cultural rituals and ceremonies are some manifestations of what people believe in. Moreover, seeking the meaning of life is a journey that the spiritual self is on. Now, let's find the difference between the soul and spirit, or in Tagalog, kaluluwa at espiritu. The term soul and, and spirit have been discussed at length throughout philosophy, literature, and religion. Even scientists have ventured remarks about the soul. Marami na daw ang naging definition ang soul and spirit. Nagamit na rin ang term na soul and spirit sa iba't ibang larangan. Often though, soul and spirit are interpreted to mean the same thing and end up being used interchangeably. So, uh, yung, ano daw, yung soul and spirit daw is um, napagkakamalan sila ng uh, definition na pwede silang gamitin ng kahit sino sa kanila. So, this can lead to the question, is there a difference between the soul and spirit? And, does it really matter if there is? So, meron ba talagang pagkakaiba ang soul and spirit? Uh, regardless of what philosophy, literature, religion, or some scientists say, we have to ask, what does the Bible say? The Bible clearly makes many references to both. So what does God's word say about our soul and our spirit? And why can knowing this can be a crucial factor in our spiritual progress and relationship with God? Uh, are they the same? Are they the same thing? So, sabi dito sa Thessalonians 5.23, it says that, And the God of peace himself sanctify you wholly, and may your spirit and soul and body be preserved complete, without blame, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. This verse clearly tells us that, that human beings are made up of three parts, the spirit, soul, and body. In the Greek original rang in the original Greek language, the conjunction and and in spirit and soul and body indicates that the indicates the three are different from one another. So just as the body is separate and distinct from the soul, the soul is also separate and distinct from the spirit. Sabi naman dito sa Hebrew 4, 12, it makes an even finer dis distinction saying that for the word of God is living and operative and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing even to the dividing of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and able to discern the thoughts and intentions of the heart. From this verse, we can we can understand that the soul and the spirit are so close to one another that the two require the word of God to divide them or to separate them from each other. So yung soul and spirit daw ay sobrang close ng kanilang definition na kailangan na ng word of God para mahiwalay sila sa isa't isa. So, based on these two verses alone, we can conclude that our soul and our spirit are not the same thing. In fact, 
it is evidently not only important for us that they are distinct components but also to discern one from the other.